Welcome to part 2 of uh, phylogenetic analysis using Phylip. First step is uh, uh, generating input files. So uh, the multiple sequence uh, alignment file which can be downloaded from uh, the cluster omega website. So it will give you dot cluster file. Uh, you can convert this cluster file into Phylip file by using some online sequence converter. For example sequence conversion dot bugaku.com and in this uh, web page uh, you have to select a cluster out of these uh, several formats and convert it to phylip so you can choose file and convert this file into phylip file format you need to download this phylip uh, program so uh, you will obtain this zip file so i have extracted this zip file into the folder here so you have uh, three folders here so you need to go to exe so this folder provides you the work environment so everything will happen inside this folder so you have several uh, character based and distance based methods for nucleotides uh, which is shown in this helix thumbnail and you have a uh, protein uh, methods uh, which are shown in these uh, beta sheet image thumbnails I have already uh, copied one nucleotide file and one protein phylip file so you can see the extension over here is phylip if you can't see uh, the extensions uh, in your file so i suggest you to follow these steps you can just go to the folder and go to view just tick mark this option here file name extensions so if you click on this uh, you can actually see these extensions over here if you untick this usually the window show you in in this form so you can't see the extensions so click on this you can see the extensions so we'll start uh, with uh, first with nucleotide character based method in which you can use uh, this dna ml program and uh, drawgram program so go go back to the folder and find out this dna ml program open and just type in the name of your file uh, that is this one and enter so press y and that's it press enter so now you have two uh, output files one is out file and out tree so you need to rename this out tree as in tree right in tree next step is using drawgram so open this program and it automatically inputs this in tree file and just preview so now you have this rooted tree so before uh, moving forward uh, you need to uh, remove these files uh, next is distance based method uh, which are generally used uh, uh, methods for phylogenetic analysis and uh, here you will use dna dist program and neighbor program along with the drawgram so open dna dist program and type in uh, the input file name enter press y and there you go so you have output as output file out file and you need to rename it as in file enter and open neighbor it automatically takes this in file just press y and you're done the output is out file and out tree rename out tree as in tree this file is automatically uh, taken by drawgram here and just preview and you can obtain the rooted tree if you want to reuse the program then delete these output files so next is uh, using protein sequences uh, for character based methods you will be using secboot and proml programs so now we will be using this uh, protein.file file open secboot and type in the name enter press y uh, you have to type in some random number for example uh, it should be odd 3 exit rename as in file open pro ml press y and now you have out file and out tree rename to in tree open drawgram 
this entry is in taken preview and you have the rooted tree next we will use secput prodist and neighbor programs for distant based methods go to secput write in the input file name enter y type in 3 now you have the out file automatically taken and press y enter Again, you have a out file. Remove the previous file. Rename new file. Open neighbor. It automatically takes that in file. Press Y. Now you have out file and out tree. Rename in tree. Open program. The entry is already taken. Preview. And you have the rooted tree once again. This is the procedure for operating a Filip program. That's all for this lab.